Hi everyone, this is Mohi from Singapore Maths Academy. Today we're going to go through a question that was posted in our Telegram group a few days ago. And I think some children have faced some problems with this question. So I'm going to go through this so that we can understand how to solve this. Now, it is a challenging question. And so you have to have had covered a few topics beforehand. The question, which is on my screen now, it says Mary and Adam each had some each had the same amount of money at first mary spent 14 pounds and gave half of her remainder to adam as a result the ratio of mary's money to adam's money became 3 to 14 how much did mary have at first now this question was taken from a singapore maths or singapore examination um in singapore obviously um and today We've kind of adjusted a little bit to make it a bit more um, British friendly, I suppose. And also, it allows our children who are competing for 11 plus places to have a go at some challenging questions. And so let's go through this. How would we go through this at Singapore Maths Academy of our children, you might wonder. So we're going to use a very visual approach called the bar modeling approach. Now, at the moment, we have actually got a bar modeling course on our website, part one, level one. And so it's ideal for year fours and year fives introducing them into bar modeling. So if you're interested, go and check out our website. We've got, I think, a massive sale at the moment for that course. Now, for this question itself, what we're going to do, we're going to use bar models to illustrate parts of the, of the, of the question. So let's have a look at how we're going to do this. Mary and Adam each had the same amount of money at first. So I'm going to write Mary, M for Mary, A for Adam, and I'm going to draw a bar to show that they have the same amount of money at first, okay? I'm gonna copy this bar and duplicate that and have the same here. And that way I can show you that they both have the same amount of money at first. Now it says that Mary um, spent 14 pounds. So I don't know, maybe this is about 14 pounds. So she spent 14 pounds and then she spent half the remainder. Right, so now we've got to remember that this part represents the remainder of her money after she spent 14 pounds. And so if she spent half the remainder, something like that, um, and um, Mary spent 14 pounds and gave, sorry, not spent, gave half the remainder to Adam. All right, so let me just adjust this because that doesn't look like a half to me. Around, oops, around about, if I do this right, around about here. It's about halfway. Okay, right. So I know he gave or she gave Adam this amount. And she had um, had a certain amount left, right? So this is the amount she's got left. Okay, right. So because she gave that part to Adam, I'm going to add that section on something like that and just color that purple so that visually i mean you don't have to color it purple you don't have to do any of these things actually but i'm just doing it so that you can see as a um as a view of this question you can see what i'm doing so she spent 14 pound that's gone and she gave half the remainder to adam which is basically here okay that's there now right so what else can we kind of work out from this question it also says as a result of doing that, um, Mary's money to Adam's money became 3 to 14. Okay, a ratio of 3 to 14. So this means that this is three parts. But with that in mind, if we think about it, that represented half the remainder. And that must mean that this is the other half of the remainder. That must also equal to three parts. And because this was moved here, this must also be three parts. And because I can think about the fact that they had the same amount of money, this means that if I split this initial bar, which is up to here, in the same way, then I can say that this is the three parts above, it's exactly the same. This is also the three parts above, exactly the same. And this is the 14 pounds above, that's exactly the same. And then Adam received three extra parts as well. And altogether, that means Adam had 14 parts. All of this represents 14 parts. If that's 14 parts, and we know that in terms of Adam's bar, we've already got 
three parts here, three parts next to that, and three parts at the end. That's three, six, nine parts altogether. And I know he's got 14 parts in all. And I can account for three, six, nine. And that must mean that that 14 pounds, though it looks smaller, must represent 14 takeaway nine. That must be five parts. This must represent five parts. 14 pounds is five parts. And that, therefore, means that each part must be 14 divided by 5 would give me one part. And one part, therefore, is going to be £2.80p, and right? £2.80. So we've got £2.80 that represents one part. The question asks us, how much did Mary have at first? Now, Mary's bar, we can see she's got three parts, three parts, and £14. So in order for me to work out how much Mary had at first, I'm going to need to work out what six parts is equal to, equal to six times two pounds eighty because I know each part is two pounds eighty, and then I'm going to have to add the fourteen pounds which she spent um, as well. That will tell me how much Mary has at first. So when I do that, six times twelve pounds eighty plus fourteen pounds, I should get something like well six times two pounds is twelve pounds six times eighty p is four pounds eighty twelve pounds at four pounds eighty is sixteen pounds and eighty p plus um plus what else uh plus i've got the 14 pounds right and so all together that makes 30 pounds and eighty p mary had 30 pounds and eighty p at first did that make sense Tell us how you felt the bar models helped you or if it didn't help you. Let us know what method um, you would have used for this question. Let me know how it goes, but with the comments below. Take care, everyone. See you next video. Bye.